ang ating online program ay magsisimula sa loob ng ilang minuto. Rizal Park, Luneta. Isa itong mohon, isang bantayog, isang landmark. Mga kaibigan, mayaman man o mahirap, taga-probinsya man o taga-Maynila, Pilipino o dayuhan, dito pumupunta upang mamasyal, magsaya, magpalakas. Magdiwang. Ito po ang pinakaimportanteng parke sa kasaysayan ng bansa. At sa maraming pagkakataon, dito tayo 
nagkaroon ng kabayanihan, trahedya, pagkilos, pagdiriwang, at pagsasaya bilang isang bansa. Ang Maynila ang kabesera ng Pilipinas. Pero ang Rizal Park Luneta ang puso ng Republika. Makasaysayang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Xiao Chua, isang public historian. Samahan niyo po ako sa Rizal Park Luneta Walking Tour. Pagbati! Magandang araw! Welcome sa Parkumentary Special Episode featuring Paco Park in celebration of the 200 years of Paco Park. Halika at balikan natin ang mayamang kasaysayan ng Paco Park. Ako si Wensley Reyes, ang yong historian guide at samahin niyo po ako para sa virtual historical tour na ito. Tara na! Proyektong ito ay handog sa inyo ng National Parks Development Committee at ng Department of Tourism. Bago natin simula ng ating programa, meron lamang kaming kaunting paalala para sa mga manunood. Una, ang ating online program ay mapapanood ng live sa ating Facebook page sa facebook.com slash npdc.ph. Magiging available ito on demand pagkatapos ng ating live discussion. Hinihikayat po namin ang lahat na i-share ang webinar na ito sa kanilang mga kaibigan sa social media. Ikalawa, nais naming marinig ang inyong mga komento at makita ang inyong mga reaksyon sa live discussion. Para sa Zoom participants, kung kayo ay may mga tanong para sa ating speaker, maaari ninyo itong iparating sa amin sa pamamagitan ng Q&A button na matatagpuan sa ibabang bahagi ng inyong screen. Para naman sa ating mga viewers sa Facebook, maaari ninyong i-comment ang inyong mga katanungan sa live video na ito. Sisikapin naming masagot ang lahat ng inyong katanungan sa nakatakdang oras. Panghuli, ang mga makakakompleto lamang sa pagsagot ng ating online survey form ang makakatanggap ng copy ng kanilang digital certificate. Kaya abangan po ninyo sa chat box at comment section ang online survey link na aming ipopost. Pakireview po ang inyong entry details, lalo na ang inyong pangalan, bago i-click ang submit button. Dahil ito po ang aming ilalagay sa inyong digital certificate. Iyon lamang po ang ilang mga paalala.
Ayan! So magandang hapon sa inyong lahat and welcome sa ating 51st webisode ng Park Conversation na pinamagatang 7 Environmental Principles, Benefits, Importance of Taking Good Care of Our Natural Resources. Once again, ako po si Bright Brioso ang inyong host para sa ating Park Conversation ngayong hapon. And I'm so excited kasi napakaganda ng ating Park Conversation session ngayon. Diba? Ang special webisode na ito ay handog sa inyo ng National Parks Development Committee at ng Department of Tourism kaugnay ng ating pakikiisa sa pagdiriwang ng Arbor Week under Proclamation Number no. 129 Series of 1955. The week ending with the last Saturday of July each year is declared as Arbor Week. The objective is to awaken tree consciousness among our people to undertake a vigorous campaign for planting of trees to beautify our yards, plazas, highways, parks, etc., and to reforest our bare and denuded lands through sustained tree planting work participated in by all elements of our community. Oh, di ba nakaka-excite talaga tong araw na to? And of course, also in, to add to that, to raise awareness on the importance of plants and trees in growing sustainable communities, we are holding a very special Park Conversation webisode titled Seven Environmental Principles, Benefits, and Importance of Taking Good Care of Our Natural Resources. Kaya naman, eto na tayo, malapit na tayo magsimula. And I'm so excited to introduce our very special speaker for today. Isang karangalan kong ipakilala ang ating guest speaker para sa hapong ito. Si Ms. Arlen S. Gatpo, isang public school district supervisor. Ms. Gatpo is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, major in Biology at Philippine Normal University. She is also a, a holder of a Master of Arts in Education, major in Biology at De La Salle University through the scholarship of DLSU Hellenica Foundation. She is a demonstration teacher a research teacher, a resource speaker, writer, and author of different science magazines and DepEd grade 10 learning materials in science. She is also consultant of the Puno ng Buhay video series of the Knowledge Channel and FFP. And with that, dear participants in both Zoom and Facebook Live, let us all welcome our very, very special guest speaker this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Arlen S. Gatpo. Ma'am, the virtual floors is yours. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, Sir Bright. Good afternoon. And to everyone, sa ating uh, mga participants, sa uh, ating mga PWG ng National Parks and Development Committee, and sa ating mga participants uh, via FB Live, good afternoon. Okay, allow me to share screen. Okay, at this point, I would like to, oh wait, uh, let me start with this one. Uh, let's start with the first slide. Okay. Ayan. Okay, I would like at this point I would like to say thank you so much for grateful for, for this opportunity that I will share to you a topic that is very relevant and very important for nowadays. Okay. It's about environmental awareness. First, allow me to share a particular uh, parts of uh, our scripture, the Genesis, when God created the world no, for six days. Uh, Siyempre, na-create niya mga firmaments like clouds, light, planets. Na-create din niya ang mga living, the creeping things, mga insects, animals, and of course, the flora, no? yung mga flowers and plants. And on the sixth day, na-create niya yung man. And nung na-create ng Lord to, ang sabi niya, it is glorious and beautiful. And he commanded man no, to multiply and replenish the earth. Nowadays, ang meaning po ng replenish is to fill again. No? Therefore, the God commanded us to uh, be a good steward of the resources that 
he provided, he created for us. At this point, after my session, uh, our goal is to uh, be able to understand fully uh, the importance of taking good care of our natural resources, uh, understand by heart the seven environmental principles. Okay, and to be okay, three things are certain in life. Sabi po nila, may tatlong certain sa life. Death is certain, taxes certain niya, and of course, change. No, laging merong uh, pagbabago. And change is part of our system, our life, no? and, uh, and our existence. According to some, we need to ride. No? Kailangan tayo mag-ride sa wave of change or otherwise lalamunin tayo ng change. We need to prepare. We need to uh, pwedeng, uh, to sway, to dance, no? So we have changed so that we can adapt. One, for sure, is about climate change. Matagal na pong may climate change, noong pa siya, no? noong pa, no? During past, pa, no? past uh, decades pa po. But the change is so little. Ngayon kasi medyo, uh, ang change is bumibilis, tumataas, and that's our part, no? Things that, sana ma, we can prevent, we can uh, at least prepare or mabagal natin, or ma, ma, mapaliit natin yung mga uh, changes na to. Climate change is said to be any distinct change in, we in weather pattern, uh, such temperature, rainfall, wind, and snow over a long period of time. Climate change affects more than just a change in weather. No? Ang weather kasi pabago-bago yan as... Uh, Sa araw -araw. Pero when you say climate change, climate change refers to seasonal changes you know, over a long period of time. According to our Undersecretary Graciano Yumul of DOST, pero siyempre nag-retire na siya before 2012, yato 2015, uh, sabi niya doon, in the next 20-50 years, the Philippines would face dry season drier. No? Mas maraming drought, no? mas mataas ang term. Wet season weather. Ibig sabihin, mas maraming ulan, mas malakas na ulan. Oh, like this one, no? Last 2011, Typhoon Pedring. And of course, recently lang yung, yung Yolanda and then yung mga iba pang typhoon, no? Mas syadong malakas sila. Okay, of course, yung mga tagtuyot, marami din tayong na-experience niya ngayong, ngayong uh, past years. According to climate data, 1960 to 2003. It showed significant increase in frequency of hot days and warm nights in many areas of the country. Totoo ito, no? Uh, nakakaramdam tayo ng parang mas mainit ngayon, mas mainit, mas mainit last time, mga ganong klase. We are keep on saying that na. But this is recently. Nakuha ko to last June 28, 2022. Sabi dito, Earth's temperature has risen by 0.14 Fahrenheit or 0.08 Celsius. Maliit ito, right? Pero per decade since 1880. But the rate of warming since 1981 is more than twice that of 0.32 Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius per decade. Medyo na doble, tumaas, bumilis. And ito pa. 2021 was the sixth warmest year on record based on NOAA's temperature data. When you say NOAA is National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, no? they track down yung mga temperatures. No? And the nine years from 2013 through 2021 rank among the 10 warmest years on record. Kung babalikan natin yung 2013 to 2021, siya pala yung ano, no? Isa sa pinakamainit na taon. Sila, 2013 to 2021, sila yung pinakamainit na taon na na-experience natin. Na may pinakamainit na taon. 10, actually 10. And then, what we used to consider normal or abnormal, yan na po ang normal. We should now consider it as normal. Okay? Climate data predicted more rains in the Philippines this coming decades. 
in 2020 to 2050, actually in study na to, before 2020 pa, nung po pinisend ko to before, it's 2020, 2013 yata. Rainfall increases likely in Luzon, in Visayas region during June, July, August, September, October, and November. There is no planet B. Therefore, we need to have plans. We need to have uh, prevention, plan, uh, plans, how to, no? To palitin, to decrease, or to bawasan ang change na yan. Sabi po dito, the pace of change and the threat of disruption creates tremendous opportunities. Therefore, uh, this change na nangyayari ngayon will create more opportunities for us to think, to help, to serve no? our planet Earth, to think of ways, be creative, be innovative, in, or be more active be more aware. Paano natin tutulungan itong uh, ating nag-iisang planet? Remember, we don't have planet B. Yan ang sabi ni Steve Clare. Climate change and global warming, para siyang ano, no, magka, lagi magkadugtong. What is global warming? Global warming is an increase in oceanic atmospheric temperature of the planet, resulting in the melting of ice caps and icebergs of the sea. Okay? Atmospheric increase in atmospheric temperature of the planet. Umiinit, nagiging warm, therefore, natutunaw ang mga yelo. During the 20th century, the average global temperature went up by 0.74 degrees Celsius. The average rate of warming over the last 50 years is nearly twice that of the last 100 years. Medyo do doble pa rin. Philippines has experienced temperature spikes brought about by climate change. And it has been observed that the warming is experienced most in the northern and southern region of the country. Bakit po natin to inaaral muna? Kasi we do believe that there must, ano, uh, we need to become, um, become aware of the things that is happening around us. No? Para malaman natin what we can do. Okay, later on we'll discuss that. Hotter days and nights become more frequent. True. Extreme weather events have also occurred more frequent since 1980. These include deadly and damaging typhoons, floods, landslides, El Nino and La Nina. Actually, uh, sabi ni, ay, narinig ko sa sona ni President uh, kahapon na we will face no, different challenges. Dala ng nature at kasama yung mga challenges na gawa din natin, gawa lang tao. I think floods and landslides, uh, syempre, kaisa yan sa mga uh, challenges natin. Climate pattern plays a fundamental role in shaping natural ecosystem. Therefore, uh, we, need to we need to study about climate change, climate literacy, and then kasi, ang climate pattern ay kasama no sa pag-shape ng ating natural ecosystem our vegetation our ecosystem our community our mountains our oceans kasama po siya ayan ito po gawa din gawa natin to right bakit ba may global warming ayan kasi may ganito may mga activities may mga human activities na talagang nakakaapekto sa tinatawag nating may impact sa climate change. Okay? Human activities, human mga ginagawa natin or hindi natin ginagawa ay nakakaapekto sa atin. No? May impact sa climate change. And remember, climate change will have consequence sa human being. Sabi nga po ni Albert Einstein, the world will not be destroyed by those who will do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Alin ba tayo dito? The world will not be destroyed by those who will do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Let, therefore, uh, para sila sabi ni Albert Einstein, no, in-encourage niya ang lahat to do something. Wag lang tayo manood, wag lang tayo makinig. After this, we need to do something. A little, kahit na maliit lang po yan, uh, malaking bagay po yan no? sa pag-save ng ating environment. 
man is the cause yes pollution is number one garbage disposal but still there is hope because man is the solution there is hope because man is the solution meron tayong power no when men sit down together may power no masasobang problem and this is one solution meron ba tayong magagawa meron marami Sabi po dito ng, ni Thomas Fuller, He that plants trees love others besides him. Siguro man we are planting trees, nagpa-plant tayo trees, hindi lang para sa sarili natin. Para yan sa iba. I remember a quote saying, uh, we are sitting in the shade today because somebody planted a tree long, long, long before. Kaya nga, kung meron kayong nakikita sa harapan ninyo na tree, Check nyo yung bahay nyo. Check nyo kung meron kayong tree nakikita dyan. Pasalamat po kayo sa nagtanim noon. Kasi you are enjoying the fruits. You are enjoying the shade of that particular tree na pinlant nila. Remember, uh, we are doing this dahil hindi lang sa atin. No? We are planting trees not because for ourselves lang. Pero ba, para din po sa iba. Okay? Para sa iba. He that plant trees love others besides himself. Okay? Of course, we are very much aware na bakit importante ang trees, no? Aside sa shade, sa food, sa fruits, sa oxygen, no? Na binibigay nila. Sequestering carbon dioxide. Yung nakita nyo kaninang mga usok ng factory, ng, uh, uh, tag to, ng pasakyan, yung ating ini-exhale na carbon dioxide, yan. Sinesik ba sa sequester? The tree can help us no, to clean the air. That produces also oxygen. Na ginagamit naman ng, uh, ng animals, ng living thing, ng human, para sa respiration. No? To, uh, respiration, not to produce energy. And the cycle continues. Okay? That's the reason we need to plant more trees. Sabi po dito ng isang uh, Brainy Coats, okay. only by planting trees, we will be able to overcome global warming. Ako din, hindi isip ko, ano ba yung way to overcome global warming? Yes, I think I will agree. Kay Vivek, ng Brainy Coats, only by planting trees, we will be able to overcome global warming. Pero marami pang ways other than planting, pero ang planting ang ultimate. Kasi they sequester the, the carbon dioxide, they use the carbon dioxide. And, pero marami pa, no? A little, at sabi nga nila yung mga bagay na may liit pag pinagsama-sama, ay malaking epekto, malaking impact. Think globally, but we need to act locally. And the best time to plant tree is 20 years ago. Ay, hindi na ba pwede ngayon? The second best time is now. According to Chinese proverb, and I really believe in this, the best time to plant trees 20 years ago, but the second best time is now. The best time to uh, share your awareness, to plant trees, to share awareness, to share this uh, learning is now. Remember, we are sitting on a shade today because somebody planted tree long, long time ago. Sana maganda yun na, no? Nung, kung, i, kung we will think 20 years na, 20 years after, May magsasabi kasi nagplant ka ng tree. We are sitting on the shade today. We are enjoying the fruits of this tree because somebody planted this tree many, many years ago. Pinlant ka ng lolo mo. Pinlant ka ng lola mo. Okay? And, that's, and that is true. Now, sabi po nila, uh, train up the child, right? Teach them correct principle and then they will govern themselves. I do believe na this coming gen this generation of ours, kung may nanonood mga generation natin, uh, we really need to teach them principle so that they can govern themselves, so that they can decide. They can share this uh, learning to others. Kaya malaking bagay po na matutuhan or malaman nila ang isa-share natin about this principle. We have what we call the seven environmental principles, which I do believe 
pag-alam ng isang tao, isang bata o isang mag-aaral o isang tao, no? Malaking bagay na ang maiaambag niya sa kapaligiran. B, nasa mountain man siya, sa probinsya man siya, sa city man siya, nasa park man siya, ma-appreciate niya yung creation. And he or she could be a very good steward of that creation. Here we have the seven environmental principles that I would like to share. First is, number one, nature knows best. Natures know. Human have to understand nature and have to abide by the rules and nature dictates. Kailangan tayong sumunod sa uh, rules ng natures. nature. If one would like to ensure continuous, steady supply of resources, one must not, ago, must, must not go against the natural processes. Ang nature po kasi may cycle, may proseso. If you go, no, nag-cross, no? Sinira mo yung proseso na yon. Nag-hinder ka sa proseso na yon. Binlock mo yung proseso na yon. Uh, may, con may consequence yon. Just like this one. Okay? May consequence to. I do believe after this, kung uulan, malakas na ulan, we will have what? Landslide, soil erosion, saan pupunta yung soil? Sa, sa, sa ilog o sa river o sa dagat. Then ano mangyayari sa ilog sa dagat? Bababaw ang ilog. May display yung water. No? It's a cycle. Nature has its built-in mechanism to maintain. Ito ang maganda doon. Ang nature kasi can maintain balance. When God created everything, may balance yan. May importance lahat ng creation niya. And nutrients are available. That's the reason why flocks and birds can survive, no? Flowers can thrive. Trees can survive because of these nutrients. And conduciveness of environment for growth and reproduction. You know, ecological succession, yung sa isang dump na area, ang unang tutubo doon, yung mga pioneer species, yung mga fern, algae, sila muna. And then comes mga small plants. And then comes yung mga hanggang magkaroon na ng tree sa isang area na wala namang nag-aalaga, pero nakakapag-tribe. That's how nature, ano, take good care of the resources. That's how nature take good care of the resources. And of course, the feeding relationship. The cycle of food chain and nutrient cycle. Like this one. It's a nutrient cycle. Yes, we're in. You can find the steady supply of nutrient. Kasi provided na ng mga uh, living things and non-living things that interact in an ecosystem. And we have the food chain. What if tanggalin ko ang producer? What will happen to the grasshopper? Tanggalin natin ang secondary consumer. What will happen to tertiary consumer? And what will happen to the grasshopper? Dadami yung grasshopper. Di ba? Walang kakait sa kanila. Eh. Things like that. Therefore, if man nag try to hinder, nag block sa cycle na yan, maapektuhan ng ating uh, buhay, ang system, ang ecosystem, the world will be live. And let's have this. The next, the next one is number two. Nature's those best. And then number two, all forms of life are important. Ang lahat ng bagay ay mahalaga. Ang lahat ng nilalang ay mahalaga. Ang lahat ng may buhay ay mahalaga. Respect. Parang ganun yun eh. Each organism plays an important role in nature. We call that niche. Niche cannot be simultaneously occupied by more than one species. Although they are living in the particular area, for example, meron silang area, particular area, pero meron silang function na ginagawa. Merong, uh, for example, may dalawang species ng, uh, ng organism, sa, may organism sa isang grassland. Yung isa, kinakain lang niya yung ibabaw ng grass. At yung isang species, kinakain lang niya yung middle part ng grass. Kung tatanggalin natin yung species or yung organism na kumakain sa ibabaw, what will happen dun sa 
another species na kumakain sa gitna, di ba? Okay, kaya importante yung kinakain niya, no? yung organism na kumakain sa ibabaw ng grass para makakain yung iba pang organism na kumakain sa middle part ng grass. All living things are important in maintaining or maintenance of homeostasis or balance. When you say homeostasis, balance. Balance in the ecosystem. Okay, lahat po ng creation, no? lahat ng living things ay kailangan to maintain homeostasis sa isang ecosystem where living things and non-living things interact. The flower, kailangan niya ang insect for pollination. We need flower. Ovary niya, nagiging fruit. We need sheep, we need frog. We need this, ano, living things, no? Let's appreciate, no? Appreciate them and respect them in their own elements. The next one is, everything is connected to everything else. Just like the lake ecosystem, the phytoplanktons is connected to zooplanktons. The zooplanktons connected just uh, small fish, small fish, a bigger fish, and then water and land and soil connected just even plants, even human. No, we are para siyang organ system sa body, baba uh, digestive system connected just sa lahat. Okay, and because they are connected, ecosystem, all living things and non-living things interact with each other. Eto nga to ensure the system is perpetrated. Any outside interference will result in imbalance and deterioration of the system. Sad to say, uh, may mga activities ang human, may activities ang tao, that they are not aware that they're doing this, pero nag interfere sa balance ng ecosystem. Yeah, that's true. Ito kasi napaka- Masyadong manindibdib mo pag nakikita mo siya, right? At least we can do something about this. Now, uh, I have this animation here na I do believe nangyayari to na once we go against the nature, di ba? Nag-interfere tayo. Kunyari, yan ay uh, isang bundok na maraming uh, puno. Na Siyempre, pag may puno yan, may mga organism dyan. May birds, may animals, other plants, no? Pero once you started Without, uh, kumbaga, sana meron tayo tawag that you develop a certain particular land, pero nandun pa rin yung mga puno and everything so that hindi maaalis. No? What will happen kung ganyan na nangyari? No? We have roads, we have this uh, uh, building and everything. Isipin mo tuloy, saan napunta yung mga animals? Saan napunta yun? And what will happen kung uulan? No? Who will hold the soil? Who will hold the soil? Therefore, there's soil erosion na mangyayari. Okay? That human activities greatly affect our uh, the balance of the ano, ecosystem. Okay, the next number four, everything changes. Ah, ito na discuss na natin to. Everything changes. Yeah, when environment change or when climate change, environment will change. When environment will change, organism will change. At pag nagchange ang organism, lahat na activities doon sa lugar na yon mag change. Yeah, and our environment is constantly changing because nag like, change naman talaga ang ating uh, uh, klima. No? Nag, uh, ano yung atin, uh, may mga spike na nagdalaro ang ating mga tumataas. No? Uh, ang temperature, yan. Organism evolved through time because of that. Okay, weather changes. Yan. We have uh, winter, spring, summer, and fall. And the next one, everything must go somewhere. Okay, may pupuntahan ang lahat ng bagay. Just like this one. Pag nag-throw ka ng trash, the trash is out of sight. Pero it doesn't mean na mawawala yan sa system. Okay? Pag nagtapon ka ng basura sa isang lugar, nawala sa tapat ng bahay mo, what you do in that corner of the street will affect you too. Kumbaga, uh, nakita, uh, nawala lang sa paningin, pero na doon pa rin sa sistema natin. Same sa earth, 
sa air, no? Eh, na pinawala natin sa atmosphere, nawala doon. Pero sa taas, meron na, doon lang sila. Same sa, and then babalik yan, no? Through this, the floods. Yan, mga garbage disposal na napakadami. Minsan sakit. Yan. Yan ang balik sa atin ng mga ginagawa natin no? ng mga human activities na nagdi-destroy o nakaka-apekto sa uh, kalikasan. For, this, for example, kung natanggal mo o natanggal ang mga o nagkaroon ng tinanggal o kaingin no? ng mga mga trees, syempre wala ng trees, what will happen to the soil pag umulan, siltation, babagsak yan sa river. Then after that, tataas, bababaw yung river, di ba? Mawalan tayo ng pagkukuhanan ng resources, ng mga uh, isda. And then, ano pa? Tataas yung water. Water will find ways. Babahain na ibang lugar. And we have the six. Yan. Labi na tayo matapos. Six na eh. Ours is a finite earth. Resources can be renewable and non-renewable. We are blessed with many resources. Actually, Philippines is one of the Ano eh, maraming endemic species, no? We are blessed with so much resources kasi ang ating uh, topografiya ay nadan tayo sa uh, equator, malapit sa equator, no? Uh, tropical rainforest. Marami tayong resources, marami tayong plant, plant varieties, varieties ng animals, marami tayo. Renewable resources are those that can easily be replenished by natural cycle. Like water, like air, plants, and animals. The non-renewable resources are those that cannot be replenished by natural cycle. Therefore, we have water, air, plants, and animals. Remember, no, replenish the earth. No, we replenish the earth. We are commanded to replenish the earth. All, just like this one, the water cycle. Siguro the water that we are using now is the same water na <laughs> nagamit o oh, na kasi cycle yun, no? Napakinabangan ng ating mga ninuno, ng ating mga ancestors. They were able to keep it. Safe, clean. Kasi tayo, tayo kaya. Maipapasa pa natin sa kanila yan. Ang difference lang is, kailangan talaga nating linising mabuti. No? Meron tayong mga filtration process and chlorination processes to keep it healthy, potable, clean, clear. resources. We have plenty of trees, mountains, uh, hills, vegetation of all kinds we have. Pinamana yan sa atin, ng ating mga ninuno. They were able to save it. Nakagawa pa nga sila ng rice terraces. Eh, no? They were able to plant trees long, long time ago and preserve this uh, natural resources. Pero ito nangyari. No? May mga nangyayaring ganito. Sad, no? Okay, sana we can ano no, we can uh, replenish it. Dumating ang time na ipapasa natin yung earth sa ating generation, sa next generation na punong-puno, no? Liglig at green. The air that we breathe. Sana medyo okay, the air that we breathe, no? It's be clean. Hindi tayo naka-mask pag may mga usok. And the last and the most important, and this is the essence of my discussion. Our stewards of God's creation, we are commanded to replenish. We are commanded to take good care of our natural resources. We are commanded to take good care of our earth. There is no planet B. There is no planet C. <laughs> we have we have a bus, we must have plans you know and uh, i know uh, through this webinar through this short uh, insight a short message i was able to uh, touch your heart na we need to take good care of our natural resources and we need to plant trees not for ourselves but for the generations to come but for our loved ones we need to plant trees so that they will say after 20 years or 15 years 
we are sitting on a shade because somebody, my tita, my uh, uncle, my mother or my father or my friend, planted a tree long, long, long before. And I would like to thank National Parks and Development Committee because they were able to plant this awareness today. I know somebody will say they were, I know somebody, I was able to watch uh, this program and then that's the reason why I'm planting tree or I'm planting, I'm taking good care of our natural resources. And of course, keeping our environment safe and healthy. This, I would like to thank you so much for this opportunity. And there you have it. Maraming maraming salamat po, Ms. Gas, po sa napaka ganda ng discussion natin. I was actually um, listening closely, no? Kasi sobrang ganda ng mga presentation, ng mga slides ni, ni Ms. Gat. And of course, yung awareness nga na pinag-uusapan natin dito. But most of all, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa, pagbaha, sa pagbabahagi ng impormasyon tungkol sa environmental principles na kailangan nating isa puso at isa buhay upang mapahalagahan ng ating kalikasan. Sa pamamagitan po ng inyong lecture, nagkaroon po tayo ng awareness tungkol sa mga isyong pangkalikasan at kung ano ang ating magagawa upang makatulong na ma-preserve ang ating natural resources. At sa puntong ito, ay pakikinggan naman po natin ang mga komento o katanungan ng ating participants mula sa Zoom at sa Facebook Live. Para sa ating participants, maaari pa rin, maaari pa rin po kayong magpadala ng inyong mga tanong sa Zoom Q&A section at Facebook comment section. At uh, for us to formally start siguro yung open forum na ganito, Ms. Gat po, uh, meron po tayong unang katanungan dito, ma'am, para po sa inyo. Alright, so siguro, ma'am, at this point, um, on your own perspective po, uh, Ms. Gat po, at sa kontekstong ito, uh, dito sa Pilipinas po, ano po ang kahalagahan di ba, ng Arbor Week at bakit po ito dapat ipagdiriwang taong-taon? Ayun po. Yes, very much, sir. Right. Actually, uh, uh, hindi lang ano eh, uh, it's not Arbor Week. We tend to uh, inform people, maging aware sila na there is a particular week na we need to become uh, aware na we need to appreciate no yung yung nagagawa ng tree sa atin, nagagawa ng plants and trees sa atin. Parang ganon. Kaya para sa akin. Uh, being a uh, uh, ano ba tawag doon hindi naman ako talagang ano eh uh, environmentalist i know na napakaimportante ng trees kung may wifi lang ang trees baka lahat nag nagplant na eh di ba kung may wifi kung lahat ganoon ang kaimportante ang trees sa atin para siyang wifi it provides the things that we need it provides everything it protects us from harm yung sana ma-realize ng mga tao and then awareness creating awareness kagaya na ginagawa nyo ngayon kagaya ng Arbor Week is one of the most important you are planting trees actually you are planting knowledge and awareness sa mga tao so that they can we can enjoy the shade later on the shade later on yun thank you so much po Ms. Gat actually gusto ko yung, yung, yung concept of connection Kasi technically, trees are the connection between the person and the earth. Diba? So maraming maraming salamat po. Actually, ma, meron pa dito isang magandang tanong. Um, kaugnay po ng Arbor Week. Ito ma, medyo specific po atang request dito, ma'am. <laughs> Baka po, in, if ever, meron kayong idea about this one. Ano pong mga klasing puno at halaman ang dapat nating itanim, lalo daw po dito sa Pilipinas? Ano klaseng halaman? Ano klaseng puno? Depende siguro sa laga. Actually sa amin nung nagtuturo ako, there is uh, what we call the top soil, top root system and the fibrous root system. Anong mga tree may top root, ano yung may fibrous root. Pero the thing it is, para sa akin, uh, kahit ano yung pwede sa lugar nila. Siguro they need to ano, identify the place, kung sa anong place nila, at anong tree ang pwede sa kanila, or anong plant ang pwede sa kanila. Last time, 20 years ago, Sir Bright, meron kami sa school na ginawa, alam ko ano din po ng, ano eh, parang National Parks din yata yung nag-sponsor noon, yung cacao. Oo. Kasi meron silang project na cacao by 2020. 
uh, we will be ano having cacao na yung marami ng ano uh, fruits ng cacao actually uh, ang ginawa ng kasamahan ko kasi hindi ako nakasama pero bibigyan niya ako ng cacao seedling apat nitinanim ko yung sa ba- ano ng bahay namin sa gilid ng bahay namin pero knowing na hindi siya pwedeng mabuhay doon dahil limited ang space tinransfer ko sa probinsya sa Bulacan at doon namunga ang cacao by 2020 kaya apat yon by 2020 may laki na sila which is very nice no? di ba sabi nila uh, there are things na you can do sa life no yung legacy na maiiwan to raise a child to write a book and to plant a tree i hope na meron tayo kahit sino to to raise a child kung hindi pwede to write a book kung hindi pa pwede to plant a tree at least lahat tayo pwede do Perfectly said, ma'am. Napaka maraming maraming salamat po. Ang ganda ng lesson na yun dun sa sagot na yun, ma'am. Thank you so much for that. Actually, ma'am, meron pong follow-up Admit question yata kayo, sir. regarding about trees as well. Um, gaano daw po ba kahalaga, ma'am, ang pagtatanim ng indigenous or ng mga native trees? At ano-ano po kaya yung magandang halimbawa nito para ma-aware din natin yung mga manonood po? Come again, Sir Bright. Nagiging unstable ang internet connection ko. Again, gaano kahalaga ang Ay ma'am, gano'n daw po kahalaga ang pagtatanim ng indigenous or ng mga native trees yeah. po dito mm-hmm. sa Philippines? At ano daw po yung mga halimbawa for the awareness of others po? Actually, uh, para sa akin, kahit na tree, ang tree natin is, uh, kahit anong tree, no? very important. And then endemic or indigenous trees, uh, depende sa lugar nyo or location nyo. Kasi hindi ako masyadong pamilyar kung anong part ng uh, lugar, na anong indigenous tree ang nandoon. Pero ang alam ko, maraming pwede at maraming, uh, maraming uh, possi- possibilities. Sometimes kasi minsan nasa ano din ng soil, nasa texture ng soil. Oo. At saka yung know-how, you need to, ano, yung know-how ba ng mga tao and how to take good care of that. And then pwede rin sa commercialism, pwede rin kung ano ang ano nila. They, kasi some people, they plant tea because sa, sa, ano, sa, they will give us yung fruits na hinaharvest nila and then Ano yun eh, business na, no? Pero di ba? Galang, kabuhayan na yun eh. Kaya depende po yun. Exactly, ma'am. Kasi ako, I believe, yung natutunan ko when I was studying yung science class namin, depende talaga po sa soil formation ang pagtatanim. Hindi ko maga, may mga puno, may mga halaman na hindi nabubuhay sa isang lugar. Pero sa ibang lugar naman, dun sila mamumuka talaga ng bonggang-bongga. Ayun. Yeah, totoo yan, sir. And then there are uh, shade loving. Yung shade lang, some trees are... Ano ba tawag doon? Excurrent? No, yung mga ganun lang. Some yung nagbibigay ng shade. Ano prefer mo? Or some are foot bearing, no? You, you need to consider that. Ano yung kailangan natin? Pero as for me, uh, lahat ng trees, importante. <laughs> lahat yan. Uh, basically, yung sabi ko kanina, they all give up carbon, uh, oxygen. They sequester carbon dioxide and give up oxygen. Malaking bagay na po sa atin yon. Plus factor na po yung ikabubuhay natin. Yung magbibigay ng shade at sa ating... Uh, Uh, protection sa mga landslide and erosion. Kasama na po yun. Yes, exactly, ma'am. So, uh, maraming maraming salamat po, no, ma'am. At least nagkaroon tayo ng mga specific ideas and uh, kalinawan pagdating sa pagdating dun sa ganong katanungan po. Now, at this point, ma'am, eto naman po medyo it's all about, um, I mean, na, na-discuss natin about planting trees and other um, eco-friendly things. Pero may nagtanong din po dito na paano po maaaring ma-achieve palalo palalo ang greener and eco-friendly community sa loob ng idea ng modernization and ob- uh, urbanization po. Yeah, that's thank you for oo nga no. Ah, uh, tuwid kanina no may picture ako na about yung uh, yung forest na nag urbanization no na they were able to remove all the trees and then ang next one is think about replenishing no. Uh, and being creative. Naalala niya yung pinost ko kanina yung challenges and the threats and the damages we ano eh is an opportunity for us to create to innovate uh, to create to innovate and to do something new na alam ko kayang kaya ng generation ngayon na we can exist kahit na may mga may may mga buildings yan urbanization limited ang space we still we can uh, have a space for our plants, for our trees to grow. Berti- yung ngayon, may mga vertical garden na, mayroon pang garden sa rooftop, mga things like that. People are, ano, 
ano, napaka-innovative na din ngayon. And then they have, we have hydroponics, we still have a short Remember nung pandemic, ano lang ang ano ang saan tayo bumaling? Planting. Right, planting. And that gives us uh, more ano. And then most of us are ano po, uh, naging creative for that. We can do a lot. Exactly, ma'am. Actually, natuwa nga rin ako nung pandemic kasi nadagdagan tayo ng word sa dictionary na plantito at plantita. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's true. Really diba, right. Pati ako doon. I'm ano I'm lucky no sa office namin is katabi namin ng Aroseros Park. Alam mo ba? Pag sa umaga, inhale, exhale, napakagandang tingnan. And we're able to preserve that park. Napaka ano, maraming trees, maraming maraming ibon na, no? It's bird, bird watching activity na diyan. And then and of course, parang feeling mo uh, safe ka diyan and because of that, we can have a city can siguro sa planning ano, tawag ng planning sa city, they can have space Like the parks, di ba? Ang ganda-ganda. Meron silang space for trees and other uh, flora. Flowers, di ba? Exactly, ma'am. Ako, mahilig din kasi ako, ma'am, sa nature tripping. Kaya mahilig akong pumunta ng Rizal, eh, sa may Marilaki side, yung mountain side. Actually, that's my first, um, hindi first time. Pero nakakita kasi ako ng malaking agila ron. So, still, meron pa rin naman tayo in the middle of modernization. Meron pa rin naman mga lugar. Pero, yes. syempre, mas marami, mas masaya. And mas maganda. Ayun po. Ma'am, ito, um, actually we have a, um, another question here for you po. Um, ano daw po yung mga simpleng gawain oh. na may malaking positive impact sa environment na maaari pong gawin ng mga nakakaram, especially yung mga public people lang na, alam mo yun, yung normal na pang kabuhay, yeah, normal yeah. na pang araw-araw po. Ayun po. I, um, totoo yan, Bright. No? Hindi naman kailangan naging eksperto tayo or matapos tayo ng degree. para tumulong sa pag-save ng environment. As simple as, alam niyo po, may isang city tayo sa NCR. They have this, ano eh, basura ko, itago ko. Yung, yung, yung basura maliit, ilagay mo na sa plastic o ilagay mo na sa bulsa. Ayun, it, basura mo, ibulsa mo muna. And uh, yun lang, no? Segregation ng basura. Uh, meron din isang particular uh, store, nakalagay siya, no plastic Monday. Parang ganun eh. Pag mga di walang magka-plastic, ang eco lang, eco bag. The thing is, these are ways no, para to prevent ng mga paggamit ng mga bagay or material na makakaharm sa environment. Using uh, disposable or using, uh, instead of disposable uh, container, baka may, pwede tayong mag-recycle. Kaya nga yung recycling is very important. Or, uh, sabi nga, think globally, act locally, no? saving, conservation, not just planting trees, conservation ng water, uh, keeping the, yung hindi ka lang magtatapon, na, na misan nga na, na, na ilulungkot ako, uh, professional, laka ano, sabi naman kita magtatapon, naupo sa sigarilyo, parang na, na, nakasama sa loob, tapos pag luma, ano, lumalakad ako sa along the way, dun sa estero, may mga basura na nakakalat, yun sabi ng out of sight, Maitago lang, pero bumabalik yun eh. Pag umulan, yun, baha na tayo. Pero as simple, ang gustong gusto ko po yung tanong niya, so little but we can do so much, yung simpleng ganun, maituro lang sa sistema ng bata na yung basura niya, ikikip niya, at hindi niya itatapon sa lugar, itatapon lang siya sa tamang tapunan ng basura. Anyway, yung mga garbage collector naman, they know how, ano, they, ano, they collect garbage and they segregate, no? Uh, ang solid waste management naman natin is um, trying to, they are trying to really na uh, ma-manage yung uh, garbage. But tayo sa bahay, i-manage na natin para hindi na sila mahirapan. We know kung ano yung pwedeng fertilizer. We know kung ano yung isa-segregate, ano yung pwedeng uh, i-recycle, yung mga ganon. Simple lang yung ano. Just clean your space, no? Cleaning your space. Kaya nga may 5S na rin. It's one way, marami pong way uh, to help uh, keep our resources, our environment clean, beautiful, and safe. Yes, thank you so much for that, ma'am. Actually, these practices should be um, continuously be um, reminded, di ba, para sa mga, sa, sa mga schools, sa mga bahay, yeah. para yung mga kabataan ngayon, aware sila na yung kunin tama at kunin dapat as they yeah. grow old. Diba, yes, sir, bright. Remember, uh, uso ang dengue. If you can clean all those, ano, clean uh, the, the surrounding, clean talaga. 
uh, siguro may iwasan natin yun. May iwasan pagdami, no? Kaya yung mga nangungulekto na gagamba, wag mo na. Kasi they, silang kumakain ng mosquito. Eh, para, di ba, balance ng nature? O yan. Ayun. Thank you so much, ma'am. And at this point, ma'am, meron po tayong last question dito siguro, ma'am. It's all about parks. Uh, paano po nauugnay ang green spaces tulad ng parks sa pagdiriwang daw po ng Arbor Week? I would like to appreciate po yung presentation kanina. Yung Doneta Park, Paco Park, na would serve, uh, ito po ang ating, ano, no, ating uh, yung inspiration. That's why we are here to promote this. Meron Ceres Park pa, Sir Bright, ha? Meron Ceres Park kami dito. Next time, we feature din nyo. <laughs> the thing it is, uh, it serves as an inspiration that there are people who are really working hard para i-promote itong uh, week na to and to promote beauty and to promote yung heritage, awareness, di ba? Hindi lang. Kaya siguro parallel talaga ang Arbor Week sa National Parks Development Committee. They are very, very, para silang, they, uh, no, para silang uh, mag-asawa. Hindi ka pwede makakita ng park na parang walang puno. No? Lahat na, <laughs> kaya kailangan, uh, we need to, ano, and then park can be a good venue, no? avenue para may invite yung mga tao to appreciate plants and trees. To identify trees and plants. Come here sa Aroceros and then ma-identify nyo yung iba't ibang mga trees. Ang ganda. Same things. Come here sa Planeta, ma-under yung iba't ibang class. It adds beauty. It adds yung heritage. Diba? May mga puno na, na yung taon lang nandyan. Yung mga matatagal na. It becomes part of the tourist attraction na. Kaya very, ano po sila, very uh, important And thank you for this week. And thank you for this uh, opportunity to express and share my ideas about. Yes, ma'am. Maraming 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 salamat po, Ms. Gatpo. And of course, coming from our community as well, uh, kami po yung lubos na nagpapasalamat din po sa oras ninyo. And uh, sa pagsagot sa mga tanong ng ating live viewers, marami po kaming natutunan sa ating Q&A session. Now, at this point, um, ma'am, Upang formal pong isara ang ating Q&A session, maaari po ba namin kayong marinig ng inyong concluding statement para sa ating mga manunood po? Yeah. Uh, at this point, I would like to uh, thank uh, Natural Parks Development Committee for this uh, activity. Keep on doing this. Uh, uh, may mga henerasyon tayo na kailangan natin bigyan ng awareness about taking good care of the, our environment about the situation that we have after climate change, uh, about their contribution to lessen the impact of global, or the lessen the impact or to lessen global warming, their precious contribution, and the things that they can do no, to, uh, no, to tell others no, uh, to be a good steward. No? They can be a good steward of God's creation and to maintain the balance and the, uh, the beauty and the uh, importance of natural resources. Kailang malaman nila. Uh, I really love yung saying na we're doing this, we're attending this seminar, hindi lang para sa sarili natin. We're attending this, we're learning this knowledge, and this, uh, uh, we're, we're attending this activity not because, hindi lang sa sarili natin, no? but because for others. Kasi we will share it. We will share it. All by, and know by heart. Okay? And do it by heart. Yes na yes kami dyan, ma'am. And of course, uh, at this point, uh, Ms. Gatpo, mula po sa lahat ng bumubuo ng NPDC, taus-puso po kami nagpapasalamat sa pagbabahagi ng inyong mga kaalaman tungkol sa mahalagang paksang ating pinag-usapan. And at this point, ma'am, sa puntong ito, igagawad na po natin ang Certificate of Appreciation sa ating guest speaker. Basahin ko lang din po ma'am, Certificate of Appreciation is hereby presented to Arlen S. Gatpo for imparting valuable insights as the resource speaker in the webinar, Seven Environmental Principles, Benefits, and Importance of Taking Good Care of Our Natural Resources, conducted on 26th of July 2022 through the Zoom video conferencing platform given this 26th of July 2022, signed by Ms. Cecil Lorenzana Romero, Executive Director of National Parks Development and Committee. Yan. So muli, maraming 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 salamat po Ms. Gatpo at sa ating participants sa parehong Zoom at Facebook platforms 
Sana ay pare-pareho tayong natuto at nag-enjoy sa ating par conversation episode ngayong hapon. Huwag po ninyong kalimutang sagutan ang link ng survey form at ipopost maya-maya sa Zoom chat box at Facebook live comment section upang makakuha ng digital certificate. Once again, magkita-kita po tayo ulit sa susunod na par conversation. Ako po si Bright Brioso. Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. God bless everyone. Para makakuha ng digital certificate, pakisagutan po ang maikling survey na matatagpuan sa Zoom chat box at Facebook live comment section. Makatutulong ito upang mapagbuti pa namin sa NPDC ang kalidad ng aming mga programa at proyekto. Pakifollow kami sa aming social media accounts upang maging updated sa iba pang makabuluhang programa at proyekto. Para sa Facebook, pakilike ang aming Facebook page sa facebook.com slash ntdc.ph Para sa Instagram, pakifollow ang ntdc.ph Para sa Twitter, ntdc underscore ph At para sa YouTube, mag-subscribe sa National Parks Development Committee. Hinihikayat po namin ang lahat na i-share ito sa kanilang mga kaibigan sa social media.